Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I got a quick video for you. So, homemade cruise control for a motorcycle is good ideal and a bad ideal, and I'll explain shortly. But you go to the hardware store and you buy you one of these pipe clamps. They got a screw here and one here. The other screw is here. And when you screw it through, you want to double them up. That way your, your bolt don't come out. Then you get you a nut or uh, two nuts. Find a bolt that goes right down the middle of that thread. As you've seen, I already cut mine down. You may have to cut it according to your size of your grip these do come in different sizes i got a one inch or yeah, a one inch or one and a half inch uh preference is key uh the bigger you go if it's too big for your uh throttle grip you just put some rubber in there drill a little small hole that way it's rubber on rubber i'm just gonna leave mine like this you can take some shrink wrap Put it over the thread, heat it up so it's not metal on metal if you got uh, metal levers or plastic ones, whatever the case may be. But I'm going to show you how it looks when it's assembled on a bike. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it is windy out here. So I said it's a good idea and a bad idea. But in order to get this on, as you see, you just clamp it on, on your grip, and run your screw down. Let me get the other screw up there so we can see how it looks. Okay, so this is what it looked like when it's screwed on. I do not have it screwed all the way down on the top or the bottom. That's because <clears throat> you don't want to screw it down too tight. If you put it too tight, you're not going to be able to turn your throttle. I can turn my throttle just fine. Now you're going to put the two small set screws on top of the threads. That way it don't bag out, you know, because of vibration. Let me get those two up there for you. So this is what it looked like installed on the bike. I got it all the way over as far as I can get it and the way it works is you would twist the throttle a little you don't need to crank the throttle just not even a quarter turn and that distance the distance it come off the, the lever when you push the screw down it'll keep that lock right there let me see if I could do it. I probably got to do it with uh, one, two hands. See, my screw came up. I just had my screw sitting up there. But, yeah, that's how you'll use it. And then you can still ride like that. If you need to turn it off, you just grab your throttle, turn it forward. But you just crank it back a little. And when you push this forward, it kind of lock your throttle back. If you pay close attention, to the indentations on my grips if I turn it forward you will see it go forward so this is neutral now let's see when I turn my grips up and I push the lever down I'm trying to do it with one hand I don't have to push this down and that's how you'll use it but like I said it's a good idea and a bad idea I said it's a good idea for long rides but it's a bad idea because you still want to maintain holding both hands on the handlebars. You don't just want to ride with no hands or just ride with one hand. That way you can always maneuver the bike. So if you're going for a long distance and your hand get the cramping up, you know they got them little things that you just take your hand and rest your whole palm on. But if you twist this and then push the screw down, it'll lock it at a specific RPM. Keep in mind the RPMs will vibrate and rattle the uh, homemade cruise control back to neutral so you will find yourself slowing down so keep that in mind don't think you're just gonna rev it lock it and then you're gonna be set at 65 miles an hour probably about 10 miles down the road you go from 65 to about 45 so that's it if you want you could take some uh, heat shrink put it over the screws so it's not metal on metal you know to protect it a little bit uh, the nut in there ain't going nowhere because it's hitting against the grip but if you really want to be secure you can go ahead and take your little extra two nuts and just uh, double it up just so you know for sure that that's that bolt don't come out so that's the homemade cruise control if you like what you see make sure you hit the like button comment 
subscribe i see you in the next video so this is what the cruise control sound like locked it for a couple seconds and then it, it does vibrate and go down so like I said it's a good idea but it's a bad idea please make sure y'all riding your bike safely and I'll see you on the next video